Hi developers. So welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and in this part of React Router tutorial series, we will talk about 404 page. And uh, let's first understand that what is 404 page, why we need it, right? So let's say uh, any random user come to our application and uh, he's trying to access any page which is not available in our application. So that time we want to show any default page to that user so that user can understand what's going wrong with him. This page is not available and he, now he can move to the any another route or uh, home page, right? So uh, to that default page, we basically call them 404 page. All right. So let me just show you some scenarios. For example, uh, when I just click on a home page, we can see that home page content. And when I just click on a about page, we can see that there is a about page content. So let's say user just come there and any put any random URL, let's say hello. And let's say he just put here ABC. So for all these unavailable URL, we must have a you can say that common or default page and we call that 404 page that means page not found right so that user can understand what's going on wrong and sometime actually we just click the uh, links there but links are broken we just uh, uh, paste there some uh, wrong url or uh, that page is not available might be that is a uh, developer mistake but there should be any a default page in that scenario also right so let me show you uh, for now, you can see that if you are just uh, trying to uh, access any random URL which is not available. So how we can make them 404 page for uh, all these uh, URLs, right? So I am what I'm just going to do, I am creating a page. So let's say my page name is page404.js, right? You can put any name to that page. This is not mandatory that you just need to, uh, you have to, that you are, uh, that page only you can put any name to that page right so let me put here uh, page 404 function and now i can return something there and let's say i'm returning here a div and inside div what i'm going to do i'm putting here h1 page like this and uh, now in a h1 page i can say that page not found and now we can use here any h3 h2 or any heading tag also like uh, this page this url is not correct right and uh, that's all our page is ready now what i'm going to do i'm just going to the navbar.js and uh, i can not in actually uh, navbar i can just create uh, go to the app.js i can i can import this file so let me import here import page okay so i have to export it from there only first export dot default uh, not dot default and our page name is uh, page 404 right this is our component name so now now let's try to just uh, import this page and you can create any third one route like this and you can just simply put a star and keep in mind this url should be at the last otherwise this will be default url for all pages what it will do so let's say home is not found about is uh, home is available about is available and he's trying to access contact so neither this is available in first neither this is available in second and now it will jump to the third one and here he will found star and star means uh, just show that page for all urls right so these two are uh, just return from the early stage but url which is not not matching with uh, above url come there and this page will be uh, uh, by default open and we can just simply put there now 404 page and now let's see how this is working so now you can see that if i am just going to home i can access the home page about us page and if i just put here hello i can see that page not found and this url is not correct and for more uh, thing you can see that more functionalities we can add here link also so let me just import here we don't need to manually import here it will automatically import from their link 
and I can see that uh, go to home page and we can see that 2 is by default home and now if I'm just clicking on there you can see that we are redacted to the home page that is great fine uh, now the next thing is let's say that is uh, if a user is trying to access directly from there that is okay but let's say uh, just we created a one more menu here which is uh, contact and user just forget to create that contact page and he just uh, or he just mentioned their wrong URL right and now what actually happen if I'm trying to access that page it will still go to the page not found because we just created a menu there we did not create any contact us page like we already created for home and about right that's why or maybe just uh, uh, with the about someone just made any typo and now because this page is also not available and if I just click to the home this is working fine if I just click to the about there is a typo and it will just again go to the page not found so this is how actually uh, 404 page work and one more one more thing if you just want to check that uh, let's say you don't want to just uh, you can see that uh, if you are this uh, let me just go to the app.js if you just don't want to show that page you want to redact your application to the home page or any other default page what you can do there you can just uh, copy that once uh, the navigation okay let me just uh, copy that again paste there and in element what we can do there we can just simply put here uh, navigate right and we can just say that to any URL like say this is a home page so if I'm just trying to access any page which is not available let's say ABC it will automatically redirect it to the home page if I'm just trying to click on the contact us again it will redirect it to the uh, you can say that home page and if URL is correct that will perfectly work fine right so that's uh, how actually 404 page works and what is that so if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box and thank you guys thank you for watching this video